Hello, Louisiana Liquor Reviews. Today we're looking at reviews. <laughs> we're looking at an uh, oddball thing, Cabin Fever, ma uh, maple flavored whiskey. It's 80 proof. Now it's been around, I believe, about seven, eight years, maybe ten years. It was started by a private guy in Canada, where he did maple flavored whiskey. Uh, it started to sell well, apparently, and it was bought out. They were bought out, as you know, that happens by Diageo, the producers of. Guinness, Captain Morgan, Seagram's, and about a hundred other respectable brands. A lot of stuff they make. Mm -hmm. uh, here's the Seagram's VO, which I haven't cracked open, but you said you tried it and you liked it. It's good. Been discoed. Yeah. yeah. No longer produced, sadly. Aged eight years. Here's one from New England that um, was a little controversial here because uh, we bought it for a strangely low price. And you found bucks. Yeah, bucks. eight ninety nine, and you found it had some very strange. Things. Well, to me, it's got an aftertaste. Like if 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 you get one of those Manchero cherries that still has the stems on, a lot of people like to. Yeah, maraschino, maraschino, maraschino. It's okay, and a lot of people like to stick them on their tongues and try to tie knots in them. So if you're sitting there and you're doing that, you're doing that, and you can't get the knot, you get that little cherry wood in your mouth. That's kind of like what I got off of that. And I don't know if it's it, it's kind of taken away from the sweetness. That that is a. Um, Corn whiskey, so to me it should be a little sweeter. It should have a bitter note on it. Yeah, I'm looking forward to trying it. Um, then, of course, this old standby, Evan Williams Green Label, which some people cannot get, but it's common in Louisiana. Four Roses, been around for decades. Uh, bourbon, and there's many levels of that. This is just the base, I believe. And then Eagle Rare. I heard so much about Eagle Rare, I've never had it. It's uh, very good. That was a select barrel for Elio's. Tim, uh, owner of Elios, had selected, and uh, he sold that at a at, at a pretty good price, I thought. So I picked that, up a bottle. And that you find that's a little. It, I know Buffalo Trace kind of goes up a grade, like they have their base models, and then they get real fancy, and that's one of the higher grades, I guess, from Buffalo Trace. It's like it's like a really mellowed wild turkey um, that has uh, a bit of a bark on it. And then this is a great value that you can find for sometimes nine ninety nine. <laughs> yeah, but you can't drink too much of that. Can't drink too much of that. That that that'll give you a headache. I don't know what's in it, but it's it's really good tasting. But I I leave that at, at one drink. Huh. Now this is charcoal filtered, as mm -hmm. whereas the black label doesn't say charcoal filtered. I don't right. Know if that comes into play. And I've gotten the same effect from the black or the green. Gives you a headache. Could be a slight headache. Could be the yeast. I don't know. Okay, so let's look at this. This is an oddball. It was only four ninety nine, which is a strangely low price. Five bucks for a fifth. Can't can't go wrong, go wrong with that. So, even if it's bad, you didn't lose much. So no, it's like the price of two gallons of gas. So we'll go ahead and give this a taste. It's got a very interesting little cartoonish type uh, cabin on it. Yeah, and I know this is called cabin fever. And uh, we all know what cabin fever means. means Locked you. up in all winter and you can't wait to get outside. Right. So we don't, we're don't. we not for sure whether this is parody on cabin fever or if it's something to keep you from getting cabin fever. Or make you deal, help you deal with it. Ooh. Now whether there are other video reviews for this, I do not know. I suspect there might be. Um, there's a website called thebar.com, and it shows all the Diageo whiskeys. And um, so this one, as Jay was saying, is a maple flavored whiskey. It's 40 proof. Oh, excuse me, 40 percent alcohol, which makes it 80 proof. 80 proof. So it's your standard whiskey that they're selling. Same thing with Evan Williams, Jack Daniels, all those are about 80. Yeah, 80, 80, 80. Oh wait, yeah, 80, 80, 80, that one's 86, 86, and this is probably 80, right? That's 90. 90, wow, nice. <laughs> so, uh, I'm getting an 80, I'm getting on the nose pancake syrup, pancake <sighs> syrup. Like that Mrs. Butterworth, yeah. where it's got the butter mixed in, butter flavor mixed in. Definitely. It's almost... 
definitely. It's missing. almost like a uh, caramel, caramel smell. As opposed to, uh, I'm going to get, get maple. There's a whiskey is. burn, but it's not a whiskey smell. Right. Like it burns your sinuses, but it doesn't smell like whiskey. Well, the alcohol is there. I can smell the alcohol. You can smell it. Let's go ahead and the get the creator taste. is a guy named Rob Robillard. Oh, 2002. Oh, well, that's not when he came out with this. That's when he started distilling in his backyard. So he started 15 years ago, and then he... Um, it's a great alcohol leg, so you know it's there. But it's definitely alcohol, so I'm going to go ahead and give it a taste. But not bad, huh? He started in his backyard and he was able to cash out. I've never had a liqueur. Okay, so... A child would drink this and it would kill him because they would think it was pancake syrup. Yeah. You would have to keep this way up in the cabinet locked because it tastes like candy. Pancake syrup. Yeah, like you could put this with pancakes. It's really sweet. About what we're drinking is all you could handle without getting nauseous, you know, nauseous probably, right? Yeah. But it's a nice little novelty, right? Like if you had a Christmas party and you ask people if you want to try something like, they'd probably like it. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, this would definitely be killed at a party. <clears throat> I'm trying to think what, what you can mix this with. It's it's got that vanilla background, that burnt caramel, almost sugar burnt, almost like a chrome belay. If you get that chrome belay taste, I okay. could see this matching with chrome belay as a, a creme bu creme brulee. Yeah. They said on the website they use real chrome. I thought it was creme brulee. You but say they, tomato, I say tomato. They said on the website, though, that um, they use real maple syrup. Um, I can't remember what brand they said they used. Uh, there was a specific brand they used. Um, well, you know, I don't consume maple syrup because it's not plentiful in Louisiana. No. Uh, what we have here is cane syrup. Which is totally different. Right. Which, cane syrup, you'll get molasses off of. This is sweet. If this is what good maple syrup is supposed to taste like, I'd say this is a winner. We were in Illinois. I would say this is a winner, Jay. Yeah, we I, were. I like it. I enjoy it. I'm, I'm enjoying this as a high-end liqueur. We were in uh, Illinois. We went to uh, Funk's Grove mm -hmm. along Interstate 55. And we I'm going to be right back. I'm going to get a little chunk of ice to put him on. Okay. Let's see if it changes. I'll talk about my stuff. Well, we went to Funk's Grove and we bought some pure maple syrup. It was awesome. Um, I would grade this very. I don't usually give liquor grades because I don't feel qualified to do it. But I find nothing wrong with this. I was expecting it to taste like some phony baloney uh, garbage brand, but it is totally not that. It's a uh, enjoyable liqueur. It's well worth $4.99. Now I'm kicking myself for not buying it, to tell you the truth. Um, I can always go back. I can always go back. They had a lot of it there. And plus they had that six-year age uh, Canadian club, which is no longer produced, so I could buy that also maybe today later. So I, I would recommend it. I just I, I, I don't see anything wrong with it. It's exactly what it's designed to be. I, I would say it's a little strong. It's with the eighty percent. You're not going to get a liqueur at an eighty percent. Most of them finish off at forty. All right, the, usually around seven, that, like thirty-five. That, that, that Christian Brothers, right? And bourbon cream and all that's like seventy proof. So this is like a full tilt. They don't call it a liqueur. They call it a maple flavored whiskey. <coughs> whiskey. That's how, how to get around. Oh man, I I, I I give this an A. It's delicious. Uh, it's a dynamite product. Now, whether they changed it after the buyout or not, I don't know. I doubt it. Diageo probably tasted it and said, they probably told the guy that owns this company, we're buying your company, but just keep just keep doing that exactly like you're doing it. Right? And they're probably selling it so cheap here just to like get it to catch right. on. Catch yeah, on if you look at the bottle, it kind of looks like the bottle is shaped like a, almost, if you look around the neck, 
uh, 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 maple syrup, like, like yeah, pancake like, syrup, yeah, like a, like a pancake bottle. So, well, thanks for watching this video production. Uh, cabin fever, if you see it, buy it. If you, especially if you see it for $4.99 plus tax. Buy it and try it, and you're almost certainly going to like it.